While in the bathroom, the topic of today should be the second thing that comes to mind. You might struggle with the topic, but just sit back, relax, and everything will come out just fine. Today, we are talking about the history of the word shit. So the story goes, the word is actually an acronym, S-H-I-T. It got its infamous beginning sometime in the 1800s when manure and globalization went hand in hand. To ship this soil enriching substance, they would let it dry out to lose weight and then pack it up in the cargo holds of ships. Those ships would sail the open seas and while doing so, the manure would get wet, generate methane gas, and then the first crew member with a lantern that came close. Boom. Shippers, for the safety of these brave crew members, started stamping the word shit on every container to warn ship high in transit. By elevating this precious cargo, they prevented the manure from getting as wet, slowing the methane gas production, and allowing for better ventilation. Thus ended the exploding poop problem. That was a story invented on the internet of 2002. The real story of the word is that it just comes from other languages than modern English. These words mean to separate, split, or to excrete. The word shit hasn't always been considered vulgar, but like many other words of its kind, its association with a filthy substance that often accompanied disease gave credibility to the shift in perception. Starting sometime in the 1600s, the word became seen as taboo, so much so that not even Shakespeare used the word. By the 1800s, the word had solidly found its place in vulgar publications and was disguised by dashes much like we do with asterisks today. In 1922, it was still drawing the wrath of censors, and in 1957, Hemingway was the focus of a scandal by using the word in a story printed by the Atlantic Monthly. Even Webster's Dictionary was still emitting the word in the 1970s. In most places, you can't broadcast the word till late at night, usually after 9 or 10 p.m. Use of the word earlier needs to be seen as rare or special before it's generally allowed. Censorship applies mostly to radio and broadcast television and as such is not applicable to things like cable TV or premium channels. The word has also been featured in a famous stand-up routine by the late, great George Carlin. As a bonus fact, the phrase, when the shit hits the fan, most likely made its first debut in a joke that goes a little something like this. A man in a crowded bar needed to defecate but couldn't find a bathroom. So he went upstairs and used a hole in the floor. Returning, he found everyone had gone except the bartender who was cowering behind the bar. When the man asked, what had happened? The bartender replied, where were you when the shit hit the fan? That was brought to you courtesy of Hugh Rawson in the book Wicked Words published in 1989. This video was brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee so good. It'll wake the dead.